Hi everyone, it's Felicity back again today with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club using the February 2017 kits. Now what I'm doing is starting out first with my mixed media background. I'm using the Aquatones from the Colour Kit. The Aquatones are a self-priming paint from Shimmers. So these self-priming paints already have some gesso in them so you don't need to apply gesso to the background and then I'm simply using the packaging to put down the mixed media and a wet paintbrush as well to move it about. I do use um, the Shimmers colorings which also came in a past color kit called pink stilettos there to add a few paint splatters as well. Now with the mixed media, all I, I didn't have I guess too much of a plan for this page. All I knew was that I wanted to be able to have just a little bit of the mixed media poking out from um, around the page. Now here I am using the pretty little studio tags that came in the embellishment kit. Now I absolutely loved all the patterns on these tags. So what I've done is actually chop the tops off the tags, as you do, <laughs> um, because I wanted to, I guess, treat these tags like paper. So I've decided to layer them there on the edge of my page and to keep the tops for layering pieces underneath my photo. So what I've done is I haven't really put them down in any particular order with too much thought. The only thing in the back of my mind when I was laying them down was that I didn't want the teals to be next to each other. I wanted them to be spread out on the page because that will allow it to flow a little bit easier from top to bottom. My original thought here is to have all those layering pieces on the right. In the end, I actually end up flipping the page and having all these layering pieces at the bottom. I just couldn't get it to, to look right and I couldn't visualise in my head how it was actually going to look by having it on the right. But if I had it on the bottom, I knew that I'd be able to get an easier flow for my page. So I guess when I actually get a kit and the embellishments, I always tend to, for some reason, I don't know why, think out of the box a little bit. So as I said, with these tags, I knew that I wanted to chop them off and, and treat them like paper. So now what I do is I decided that I wanted to add some stitching onto these pieces just to give it a little bit more depth and a little bit more interest so it wasn't just paper on paper. Now I wasn't too sure if I was going to hand stitch or machine stitch and I guess the difference between the two for me I guess when I think about what time of stitching I'm going to do. Hand, hand stitching I find it to be I guess a lot more fun because it is a little bit more um, bulkier, I suppose, as opposed to if I was going to machine stitch, I put machine stitching more into, I guess, a delicate type stitch and a stitch that doesn't stand out as much. But I knew that with these squares, I did want the stitching to stand out a little bit, simply because I didn't want it to look paper, like paper on paper, if that all makes sense. <laughs> if I don't make sense, please just let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. Sometimes it's a little bit hard for me to explain actually what I'm thinking or my process here, so just let me know if you've got any questions about anything. So now what I do is I decide to work on a few layering pieces underneath my photo. Now, I did want to add in a little bit more texture. So I used this calico piece first as my, as my layer behind the photo. 
and then I actually come in and use um, crumpled up crepe paper tucking out just behind the photo as well. It just adds a little bit more or different fibres into the page. And then I layer in some of these pieces from the tags as well. So I guess you could nearly say that these tags have got a bit more value for money. <laughs> but that's what you get when you get the hip kits, which is what I love. It's always just absolute chockers with product and with embellishments and papers. And it, it's really, to me anyway, is worth every cent that you spend on a, on a kit from there. So now I'm just mounting my photo on some foam or some 3D foam there. You will find that I add a lot of glue to self-adhesive products like your chipboard and your sticker pieces simply because I find that when I've got mixed media or when I've got fabric stitching, all those different elements on my page, I find the self-adhesive doesn't stick as well to it. So I always just add a little bit of glue behind it to make sure it's not going to move on me. Now what I decide to do is add in some gold elements into my page just to keep it a little bit more feminine, I suppose, and to, I guess, dull it down a little bit because it was ending up quite bright. And there are lots of gold in the, um, in the kit as well. So I really wanted to bring that through. Now these cute little flowers actually are from Pretty, Pretty Little Studio as well. They match the tags. So I knew that I wanted to add these in as layering pieces behind my photo as well because they matched in with the background as well. And then I've got some leftover sentiments from the, they're from the Project Life Kit. And there are a few there that, like Life Collected and Love, Hello Darling. Um, another one I use is Follow Your Heart, You Are My Everything. They just seem to, I guess, sum up a few of my thoughts, I suppose, about this photo and my thoughts of when I was creating this page as well. So as you can see, those few little embellishments that I've pulled out there from crepe paper, I did have the idea that maybe I could cut out a few more of those butterflies, like, yeah, like I haven't got enough butterflies cut out. <laughs> um, but I actually don't end up doing that. I found that little chipboard butterfly. with I wanted something with yellow on it, and that chipboard butterfly seemed to match in quite well. I do decide here in the end to also cut out a scallop piece from the Chasing Dreams paper, which I end up using up the top there and then I end up hand stitching it down just to, again, keep the flow of my page going. And look at that bow. Isn't it cute? That's from the sticker sheet. I love bows. You can see my daughter, she's got a bow in her hair as well. <laughs> so now what I'm trying to do here is there's a little circle element that I've got popped under the photo on the right there. I wanted to bring through a couple more circular embellishments because I guess for me, and, you know, and I speak on behalf of myself, is I just feel that it looks a bit too square for me and a bit too... Oh, what could you say? I was going to say blocky, but that uh, that's not a real good word, but you'll get the idea. So anyway, I find a few more um, circle pieces here that I end up adding in just to add a little bit more interest as well. And I just love, you can see there's a circular um, wooden button. I think they're called buttons. Correct me if I'm wrong again, please. <laughs> Um, there near my my stickers or my sentiments as well down the bottom. So now that I've worked out what I'm doing, I now come in and I stick everything down. I mean, life would probably be easier for me. It would be a lot quicker if I stuck it down as I went, but I don't. I always lay it down, and then once I'm happy, then I go back in and stick it down. 
I guess if I stuck it down as I went, it would probably take away a little bit of the fun for me because I love fiddling. I love moving things around and so perhaps if I stuck it down as I went, I don't know. <laughs> I should actually challenge myself one day, shouldn't I? <laughs> See what I end up with if I just stick it down as I went. Probably end up with a hot mess. That's probably what I'd end up with. <laughs> Anywho, we're getting sidetracked again, aren't we? Yes. But no, I really, I really do love how this turned out in the end. I was umming and ahhing a little bit because I was concerned that I was going to make it too busy with all my embellishing, and but in the end, it actually works really well. I do actually end up backing this whole page onto, um, I think it's the crepe paper, oh, Asus paper. It's the one that's got weekend written on it. I had the little strip and I meant to keep it as a reference and I've chucked it out, so I apologise. Anywho, I end up backing it so that there's just half an inch poking out on the left and up the top. Just because when I... I looked at this and it was when I thought that I was finished. I walked away from it, came back, and it just, to me, didn't look finished. And I think what was happening was you can see that there's some black there around the butterflies. There's some black on the tags. And I guess I felt that perhaps they weren't popping out or standing out on the page as much as what I would have hoped. So as soon as when I popped that paper behind it as backing it just seemed to bring all those elements to life and then the page just seemed to really flow I guess because that butterfly up the top that's in the white space I guess I'm relying on that if you could put it into that sort of context I'm relying on that to come to life not literally <laughs> to come to life to be able to bring the eye to the top of the page because my page is actually quite busy and there is a lot of elements, I wanted to make sure that the butterfly was visible and did stand out because it then allows the eye then to just simply rest. I guess that's just how our senses work. That's how our eyes work. If that all makes sense. <laughs> And then, yeah, I decide to add in some of the stitching up the top there on the scallop, as I said, just to make that flow a bit more. And now I just pop in a little bit more of those gold um, arrows. They're little foam arrows. I think they were also in the embellishment kit too. And I'm still trying to work that out, that little saying but I don't end up using it. I was going to cut the circular element out. I end up using these sediments from the sticker sheet instead. But yes, more fiddling. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone when I fiddle so much. Whoops, stuck that down, can't move that. <laughs> See what happens? I stick it down that I decided I wanted to move it and I was like, oh, well. And then I just add in a little um, butterfly trail, I guess, to down to the photo, which I had ideas of stitching or leaving in pencil and I end up rubbing it out. I decided I didn't need it. The, I mean, I mean, I need the butterfly, but I didn't need the trail. Is that what you call it, a butterfly trail? I'm not sure what you call them. Anywho, we'll call it a trail today. And then lastly, I end up adding in some um, muslin fibres as well underneath the photo and embellishments. And there we have the finished product today. I really enjoyed the process of this. I absolutely loved the February kit. So I hope you've enjoyed my video today. And if you do have any questions at all, please just let me know. I'll leave a link in the bottom to the hip kit club and also to my blog don't forget to su subscribe to my channel because there's lots more videos coming thanks so much for watching today